Recently at Rema's concert, he performed a ritual that shocked his fans. This fan said while attending the concert, she was scared for her life. Other fans said they were traumatized and had to leave the show early. Oh, mm -mm. I think you're on a bat. Oh, baby, no. Oh, no. Not my soul. Even one girl that I was talking to at the train station, she was saying that the whole time she felt possessed. You see, when he started doing that chanting thing, I was with my friend, we started praying. Because hell no, like, we even left early because in general, like, it wasn't the best. But you're here trying to capture my soul. Do you in front of thousands of people, Rema performed a satanic ritual. He also mocked the word of God by portraying himself to be one of the horsemen in the book of Revelations. Do you all remember when I said, when a cultist form a circle, the demonic realm intensifies? And this explains why his fans were traumatized and some felt possessed. And during one of his performances, he depicted himself riding on a bat. And take a look at his album cover. Notice there's an upside down picture of a church. The cross is upside down. Also, the church is on fire while surrounded by entities. If you're walking in the spirit, you can see that a destructive spirit is operating through this music artist. And it's using him to traumatize people and to lead them into bondage. Some of his fans said he was singing in a language that they couldn't understand. So that is evidence that unclean spirits were manifesting through him. And it's a known fact that they can talk through people. They can sing through people. This is nothing to play with. Everybody at the concert should have ran for their life. Better yet, they should have never been there. We are living in the end times. The spiritual realm has intensified because the enemy knows his time is short. This is what to expect from this artist. All the evidence proves that this guy is in covenant with the enemy. So don't be surprised when his friend start traumatizing people at the concert. And I'm speaking of the enemy. And if you are a follower of Jesus Christ and you are attracted to darkness, something is wrong because light and darkness has no fellowship. Warn your bloodline. Warn your household. Tell your friends. Tell your family to avoid these type of people because we are in the end time and the enemy is harvesting souls. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. God bless you.